Today we are interviewing Kat Kahn, author and librarian from the world of graphic novels and comics. Kat has been involved in collection development of comics and graphic novels for over 25 years and she was the chair of the Great Graphic Novels for uh, Teens Task Force Committee for YALSA and which subsequently became the Great Graphic Novels for Teens Committee. Um, Kat has been doing collection development, as I said, for over 25 years um, with a focus on really beginning in the, the teen market. Um, and now this uh, career path has led her to um, working as an author for H.W. Wilson, um, doing a book about uh, graphic novel collection development and research. Now, Kat, can you tell us a little bit about H.W. Wilson and your involvement with them? Well, H.W. Wilson is a reference publisher. They've been around for over 100 years. They produce uh, resources like the Reader's Guide to Periodical Literature, uh, the uh, various standard catalogs, which are now called core collections since they've been automating them. And they uh, started in 2007 the graphic novels core collection, which basically is my baby. Right. Um, I select all the titles for that core collection. And uh, so basically I'm just their graphic novel expert, the one that they come to whenever they have a question about the graphic novels. Now this book, how did this project come about uh, with the folks at Wilson? How did this happen? Okay. Well, The Reference Shelf is a series that they've been doing for this is 82 years, they're, they're going to be starting their 83rd year on the reference shelf. Um, and they have different issues that come out about six times a year on different topics that would be of interest to high school and college students for, for research purposes, including the national debate topics every year. And they decided that they wanted to do a volume on the um, graphic novels and comic books and how libraries and schools are starting to use them as literature. And since I was already working for them, they asked me if I would edit the book. And So in this process of putting it together as the editor, mm -hmm. um, what are some of the resources that you touch on as far well, as... They helped me um, gather, we, we gathered a lot of articles from newspapers, um, educational journals, um, just about every source we could think of, um, and they were able to get full text articles for me. And we had um, chapter arrangements in here, so we have uh, a, the first chapter is basically uh, called The Rise of Graphic Novels. It's um, about a lot of history of the graphic novel format and how it started to become accepted in libraries. Uh, then, how graphic novels have become serious literature, uses of graphic novels in um, the classroom, the roles of librarians, and then the last chapter was a fun one for me because I was able to find articles that were basically interviews with some outstanding comic book writers and artists. And the, uh, the resources that they go to for the articles, they run the gamut from trade publications, industry mm -hmm. trade publications, to newspapers like the Washington Post. Right, right. right. Um, we have um, articles that come from the School Library Journal, uh, the Council Chronicle, the, um, let's see, we've got the Houston Chronicle, we've got San Diego Union Tribune, even the Monterey County Weekly <laughs> right. is in here. And uh, a few web sources. Um, one of the interviews was from Tom Spurgeon's Comics Reporter, which is an online uh, blog, uh, which won an Eisner Award this past year for outstanding journalism. I think one of the other fascinating aspects about what this book represents for Wilson is that um, not only did you have a company that's been established for well over 100 years, is that they're stepping into this area of something rather new with graphic novels, but your book in particular um, has been sold on its own, whereas normally the books come from a subscription service, is that correct? Yes, uh, they even put a different price point on it, which amazed me. Uh, the reference shelf volumes generally run $50 a piece, and this book is $35. And you can buy it separate from that? Yes. Okay. 
Um, I found it on, I know that it's being sold through Amazon, and uh, Broadart has it listed as well. Um, who are the who are the librarians or teachers who who would be who would benefit from this book? Well, it's again the you know, being reference shelf. It's aimed more at that high school and college market. But for me, this book is for librarians, both uh, school librarians, public and academic librarians, who uh, want to have more information about graphic novels for teachers. Teachers who might want to use more graphic novels in the classroom, beyond just being a gateway to literacy. Um, and for even the general reader who would be just interested in the whole format and just want to know a little bit more about it. What were some of the surprises for you as you were working on this project? Something that you learned that you hadn't expected? I'm not sure that I really learned anything that I hadn't already, but what it did was it, it really showed me that I was on the right track in, in pushing graphic novels, as, as hard as I've been doing for over 25 years, that um, there is more widespread acceptance um, to see college professors who are writing articles about how they're using graphic novels in their classrooms. Uh, to spark all kinds of discussion, to spark research, um, even you know, creating comics in their classrooms as part of the courses. Uh, so it wasn't so much a surprise as a vindication and confirmation of, of what I've been uh, talking about to people. Do they want you to do another book yet? I don't know, they just want me to keep adding more titles to the graphic novels core collection. Right, right. Okay, well, thank you, Kat. We've been talking again with Kat Kahn, um, a graphic novel specialist from the library market for well over 25 years. You can find out more about Kat and this book, and also a lot of the content that Kat has developed for Broder Company when you go to broder.com and follow the links through from the Books Division to their graphic novels page. Thank you, Kat. Thank you.